Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. The power went out. It's been out for about 20 minutes. It just came back on. Anyway, we got the power back on again. Uh, so I'm doing this video on solar, and I thought you guys would like it to see it on solar setup and the way it is. And so uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, in fact, uh, this right here is my solar and as you can see we have a power outage Ruth and I just finished the live stream and we have power outage excuse these wires here now this one here on the far right extends over and this goes to that part of the house which is in the kitchen and then this one goes over to the other house the one next to it this goes to the other house for the internet and or internets anything else that we want to power by solar and uh, this cord right here is actually leading over to a fan and the TV and everything. And, of course, we have the TV. I did that briefly to show that. We have the TV on. Of course, my batteries are still here. Uh, but I, I want... It's a brownout now. And I really want to show you how important it is here in the Philippines to have solar. And how important it is to, to have something in effect here. And the uh, reason I'm showing you this, see, right now you can see the system itself. See this 105 watts? That's what exactly it's pulling in the house right now. We have 105 watts. I have 112, I mean, excuse 1,200 watts on the roof that we can actually pull from. And this right here is actually showing what it's pulling in now. It's all that's needed. Right now we're only running 105 watts for a refrigerator. See, it runs 110. It runs 105. I'll let you look at that. And... It gives you, now this up here is letting you know that the batteries run at 12.6 and 218 volts or 200, 220 volts. That's on the inverter. Now this right here will actually give me what the watts are. Uh, this watt hours, this is what I've used this month so far on the system. I don't know if you can see that. It might be hard for you to see. All right, here I'll just kind of give you the volts. Uh, batteries right now are 13.8 volts. It's running 13.8. Uh, the amps were running 76, 75, 76, 77, 103 watts on the on the panels are running to run everything in the house, and it talks about the load. And it kind of gives you now, this particular controller is uh, wireless, gel batteries, the battery temperature, the time of the day, uh, the date, and the month. And it's telling me my uh, ba uh, panels up on the roof are running 35 volts, 36 volts. Uh, and they're running three amps of power right now and it goes back to this this right here I've showed this before is the wireless setup I can actually go outside I can turn this on and it will tell me exactly or I could be wherever and it tells me what I'm running as far as this unit is running now this over here I have this one undone this is with a grid tie inverter whatever this offloads in power that I have too much power is producing this goes back into the grid and I have this one turned off because we unhooked it because I wanted 100% full solar for here and not throw anything back to the grid because it's really not benefiting me because the net metering that they had it promised to put here on the unit was taken off and now we just have these regular meters like this. So I'm wasting, I'm just wasting. So whatever it throws off, it just throws off. There's nothing I can do about this. This switch here turns on the grid tie inverter, the, the, the 220 volts. And uh, of course, as you see, I have it turned off now. But this uh, controller here is MPT, MPPT controller. It does 12, 24, 36, 48 volt systems. This particular system happens to be wired up on 12 right now. Uh, because this particular power inverter is a 12 and it runs 6,000 watts up to 12,000 and this particular one is the only one I could find at the present rate that was a, a, a actually a fairly decent price considering what it does it'll supply all I need for right now it'll run up to 12,000 watts and I will not use no 12,000 watts as you can see, see this is uh, actually wrong. This is run 12.6, but the battery. So I'm getting some type of discharge up here, it's showing a little fake here. But as you can see, here it is. I just got to get some more battery here. I just see my batteries. I got 350 amp hours of batteries. Now, presently, it will not run an aircon or anything like that because I don't have enough um, uh, battery backup. But once, if I had enough battery backup, 
it will run an air con, it will run a complete house, uh, all in general, and I wouldn't have to really worry about it. It's the battery backup is the backbone to your system. It's running fine now because the sun is out and everything, and I could put a hello on it. <clears throat> I can actually run the air con now from what I have, but I cannot run uh, the air con and the fridge at the same time because of the batteries. I need more than 350 amp hours of battery backup. It needs at least to be up to a kilowatt or better of backup so I can actually get ser good service. But I thought I'd show you this now because I get people that ask me this and uh, the power is out every day. Right now it's out. I have a fan running, I have the TV on, I have the satellite on, I have all the fixtures in the house on, chitches in the kitchen cooking. So how can you beat it? So we're in the we're in the house and air, the it's been out. It'll probably be out an hour to two hours. It's usually out on average about two hours at a time, sometimes three, and it can go to four. But as you can see, uh, and this meter is exactly the meter that you have outside. This is the same meter that they read their meters on. This is what we get billed on. And I bought this meter because I want to do the grid tie-in inverter, but the, uh, the company decided not to do solar. They don't want to do solar. They're not into solar because uh, it costs them $200 per house to do a solar system. So they're not going to do solar. So I thought I'd kind of show you the setup. I, I got plenty of plugs. You should see what I did. I wired that in. Uh, and, it, and the wires that you see coming out of that is just temporarily. Uh, I will run them in this real nice conduit throughout the house. And we'll have conduit so they can actually, you can run that throughout the house. We have that on one side of the house. As you know, I have it in a bathroom. And I have my bathroom solar. All you got to do is just plug it in in the bathroom and I have solar there. So, no worries. Need light. It's no worries. And you see I have this running here. Uh, it's kind of haphazard running right now, but it's all right. You know, it's no, it's no uh, we're not going to have the wire police come say, Tom, you did a horrible job. Uh, so, there's 100 and see it's running 103, 102 watts running in the house. Really, that's not much at all, is it? If you think about it. These are low energy uh, units here. And I'm, like I said, you run a TV, a fan, a satellite. All the internets are running. Fridge. Uh, whatever Chitch is doing over there in the kitchen. All right. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe. Hit like.